Everyone knows Fashion Famous, and if you don't, you live under a rock. But Fashion Famous has kind of fallen off. Dressed to Impress seems to have taken that spot. And ever since the rise of Dressed to Impress, there are a lot of fashion games popping up. So let's take a look at all of them. The first fashion game we're gonna go to is obviously Dressed to Impress. The reason why Dressed to Impress has skyrocketed, in my opinion, is because it's not like your basic fashion game like Fashion Famous. The body type is the main factor of that. Fashion Famous is just like a blocky avatar. Not my favorite, but maybe some people like that simplicity, but I don't. Like, I love fashion, guys. But the clothing, it's not just like Roblox clothing that you can put up on the marketplace. Look at the detail in this clothing, you know? There's just so much detail to this. Unlike Fashion Famous and some of the other fashion games, the developers of Dress to Impress have put so much work into this. That's what's making it popular. Oh yeah, those are such cute heels. Uh, I'm getting distracted playing this. And one thing I really do like about Dress to Impress is that they have the men aspect too. I know this is such like a girl dominated game, but they're trying to add men into it. I think it's just kind of hard for them to because this game is so female dominated, you know? Guys aren't gonna really play it until there's a lot of like male items in there, but I do appreciate them at least trying to incorporate the men aspect. I just think it's gonna be a little more work to do that. Even when it comes down to the model walk, they must have been studying these model walk videos and were like, we have to perfect this model walk. Cause like even like the stance, you're not standing there like your regular Roblox avatar, like, Hi, you know, like this game has so much to it. I loved fashion games because I'm like, oh my God, it's a fashion game. I'm such a fashion girly. Like this is fun, but seeing Dressed to Impress, this is like a whole nother level. So props to them for that. We're gonna head over to Fashion Famous. I keep talking about it, but Fashion Famous has been around since 2016. And I've noticed that they've been trying to copy Dressed to Impress. <laughs> Girl, be original. It's not gonna do good for you. That's so mean, I'm sorry. But it's true, it goes the same for people. You see someone doing something. Oh my God, why is the music so loud? Turn down! <laughs> it's so loud. As I was saying, you can't just copy someone because it's working for them. Come up with your own thing. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. Sorry, that was just a little rant sorry what are these avatars girl this never used to be like this i swear it was different no they recently updated it, but it's not to copy dress and press now the runway and the dressing room all look the same girl you're trying to modernize your game and it's not working because like you should have done that way before i'm not trying to hate i'm sorry it sounds like i am hey i used to love this game until dress and press came out did they change it back? Because I swear it was like super modern. It was all white with like black on the wall to make it look chic. I wonder if enough people called them out and they were like, okay, you know what? We better go back. Don't know. I will put up pictures from what it looks like. So look at those. That's how it looked. And then now it's back to this. But seeing dressed to impress and seeing this, like you can't be dressed to impress after that. I look weird. And now I'm walking slow. Bro, what is this? These are just like Royal High faces. I swear this is in Royal High. <laughs> the game obviously fell off because dressed to impress is so much more realistic. What is this hair? I'm sorry, these look like helmets. I got a nice helmet on my head. I don't know if there's any room for recovering for Fashion Famous. I'm sorry, this is so mean. I feel like this video is just a hate on Fashion Famous when it's not. I'm just comparing, okay? Okay. Wait, I actually kind of like the little, the particles. That's kind of cool. Fashion Famous, I'm sorry, it's over. It's done, it's done, I'm sorry. Rest in peace, Fashion Famous. You will always be remembered. Let's just see their walk real quick. Oh, oh, work it, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. And on that note, it's time for the next fashion game. Alrighty. The next game is Passion for Fashion. This game was created in December. I have actually never tried this game. Why do I look like a brat stall, but like a mix of possessed demon? Why are we like in the sky? <gasps> 
They have a lot of hair textures. Wait, this is cool. Why am I like jittering? It's like lagging like that. What? These outfits are honestly really cool. Some of them are a little questionable. Anyway, I don't really like how you can't just pick one item. Like if I click this, it just goes to the pants. Like I can't put the top on. Yes. Whoa, these fabrics are literally cool. Wait, hold up. Yeah, that's cute. I think we're good. How do you have a game that has no cat ears? Those are really creepy faces. This game does not top dress to impress at all whatsoever. And why does it keep going to a flashbang every time it's a new person? What is that? And I also didn't like how we were like up in the sky. And I really hate this flashbang. That flashbang needs to go. Okay, wait, she's cute, but that's not an animal. Okay, wait, I like the little animation where she walks around in a circle. I don't like the turn because you're not gonna catch me doing a turn on the stage in New York Fashion Week. I forgot to tell you guys, I'm walking in New York Fashion Week. Oh, oh, that's me. I forgot shoes. Oh my God. I look like I got muscles. Guys, do you see these muscles? Big ones. We got a nice little lovely flashbang and the dressing room up in the sky. It's like heaven that you dress up. If I had to put these fashion games on a scale, Dressed in Breast literally broke the scale. Fashion Famous used to be literally 10 out of 10, but now I'm gonna say compared to all of these so far, one out of 10. Passion for fashion. This game has potential. It just feels messy. You eyes don't look good. We're up in the sky. I get a flashbang every time. Everything's just like poorly made. I'm so sorry. You do have potential, but you also kind of copy Dressed in Breast. So I'm gonna have to give you a five single star for this fashion game. It's called Slay the Runway. This one was created literally a day ago. By the time you're seeing it, it's gonna be like five days ago. I've heard a lot of people saying that this game is very Uncanny Valley. And if you don't know what Uncanny Valley is, look there. Okay, right there. Yep, okay, now we're taking that off the screen. Why does the man look like that? Oh, she went, yeah, you chose me. Why is she walking like she's mad? She's walking like... Wait, here's my model walk, guys. I'm not gonna look mad. <laughs> what if I fall on the runway in New York Fashion Week? I'll be so embarrassed. I'm never gonna walk again. I promise you guys, I have a better walk. I have limited space in this room. Oh. One thing I do like about this game is that they have like daily logins, which is really good. So they have gifts, a free dress, like they're free. But if you wanna claim it now, you can pay Robux. Whoa, I want that. But like you have to do like login day. So that is pretty smart on the developer side because then it makes you come back. Smart, very smart. Urban vintage, what? This one I feel was a major copy off Dress to Impress, but they didn't execute it like exactly. Uh, we're gonna do thin eyebrows. Oh my God, they have nose contour. We're gonna do that. Oh, you're supposed to save everything. What? That's annoying. I do like the customization on the face. If the customization on it is like amazing, you can do anything that you want. I love it. Ooh, we can do acrylics. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, they have sheer tights. That's cool. So they have items that you can get in the game, but it also shows your your personal items, meaning the stuff that you can unlock and stuff that you get from your daily login. Here's the hairstyles. Oh, they only have three. We're gonna go long hair. I love the physics on the hair. Wait, how do I change the ribbon color? Bro, my hat didn't save. Uh. I really like the walk animation in here, but they do kind of look uncanny valley, but at the same time, it looks pretty good. But I think people like dress to impress because it's a mix of the Roblox classic avatar with the face and it's a different body type, kind of like this. It still looks like Roblox where this game doesn't look like Roblox, but this is really cool and I have no idea what's going on with this guy's face. Oh, there's me. I feel like I look the best, but none of my colors saved. I just gifted myself. I look so good, guys. <laughs> Stop gifting me. Who are the most dazzling models? Of course it's Lana Ray. Oh my God, wait, this animation's like so cool. Of course it was me. Why wouldn't it be? I love that animation it did. That was actually really cool. Anyway, those are the fashion games on Roblox. Comment your favorite fashion game because obviously mine is dressed to impress.